Hey guys, look what happened. No! I'm just kidding. But I swear to God, at yesterday's New York City Bar Citizen, uh, half the guys that showed up were Test Squadron. Alright, what a blast. What an absolute blast. Oh, actually a couple Bar Citizen members requested a cameo. So, so here you go. Alright, Bar Citizen was a blast. It was a good time. Over the course of the night, there was probably anywhere between 15 to 30, 15, 25, 15 to 30 people that showed up. It was hard to keep track. People, some people came, some people left. But it was, <clears throat> it was definitely fun. So many names, so many people. Brian, Brad, Polypeptide, love the reference. Alberto, holy shit. Alberto is like a one-man Swiss Army knife crate of infinite waterfall of just ridiculous source of uh, information. Alberto, you blew my mind with your with your knowledge last night. You had an answer for everything. Actually, at one point, I looked uh, I looked at him dead in his dead in his eyes, and I said, uh, "So, pretty much, you know everything about Star Citizen." He's like, without a beat. He says, "Yep, like, yeah, I know everything about Star Citizen." <laughs> and he did. Anyway, I appreciate all the information. He also he also shares a love of wild cards, so it was fun shooting the shit on that too. Also, I got to meet Racecar from Team Squadron. Racecar uh, made his way down from Boston. It was it was good to meet him. Legend has it that he pretty much makes it to every bar citizen that he can. He's all over the place. Many others I met too. There were a few. There were a few that came from a long distance. I won't use their real names because I don't have their their gamer handles, but. A couple of them came from a long distance, and one in particular. I hope you, I hope you got to work on time last night. He he drove all the way down a few hours just to just to hang out with us, and then he had to drive all the way back a couple hours later uh, just to be at work by like two a two or three two or three a.m. So shout out to him. Hope he's hope he's alive and well and didn't get canned. Also a shout out to Atlas Burden, the Admiral of the Alliance, and probably the owner of one of the best. Star Citizen URLs I've ever seen. I can't, I still can't believe he nabbed it. They have under 100 members, but they're they're still pretty big and, and they're growing. Not nearly as big as uh, Test Squadron, which, by the way, Racecar told me that they have like over 12,000 members now, and and then, and that's not even the biggest, I don't think. But Atlas Burden, it was good meeting you. There were several Twitch streamers there too. Sergeant Gamble was there. Supreme Tokyo was there, and a few others. It was good meeting all those guys and kind of shooting the shit. And also, I think it was Atlas or Drunk Pack that ended up setting up a Discord for uh, the New York City crew uh, to get, to kind of keep in touch and plan out future events. So thank you guys for that. At one point, I was actually talking to Sergeant Gamble about uh, No Man's Sky, kind of the what happened there. And <laughs> I never actually put two and two together. So Alberto, again, the master of everything and all knowledge everywhere, looks at me. He's like, hey, hey. He's like, remember that first, remember that first, um, uh, around the verse video? And I was like, yeah, uh, 3.5, I think it was. He's like, remember the guy that, remember the guy that started, he got up and started dancing when the, when the, the thing collided? And I was like, yeah, I remember that. He's like, that's him. I was like, <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't even connect it in my head. So that is absolute proof that I am a newcomer to, to the world of Star Citizen. That was fun though. Other than that, Supreme Tokyo and... Sergeant Gamble probably had the world's shortest ski ball match, and probably one of the highlights of the night. Tokyo half near the end of the night, Tokyo whipped out and held up a signed copy of the Terrapin manual, uh, and I believe um, I believe Atlas and a couple others said it was from was from the Gamescom demo. And it was signed. It had all the signatures, Chris and Sandy, and it was just it was it was pretty it was it was pretty sweet. It was kind of it was kind of neat to get a look at that. I believe it was the Terrapin. You guys can kind of chime in and correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, it was a blast, and can't wait till the next one. So I hope it, I hope we can get one together in the next uh, in the next couple months. And I know there's a lot of people from the comments and on the forums and uh, on Reddit. There's a lot of people that actually uh, it was short notice, so they couldn't show up. So I think there's going to be a lot more next time as well. A couple from New Jersey said they couldn't come. So. It was it was fun. It was a good time. Because and because one person asked me, my choice of beer for the night was uh, Goose IPA. I kept hammering those back, and that's aside from all the shots, all the few rounds of shots that kept getting passed around. It's always Jaeger. Actually, it wasn't always Jaeger. There was a fruity one first.
anyway, thanks again, guys, for 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 getting that together. It was it was it was fun. And isn't it always more fun when you're in a social situation and you actually give a crap about the conversation you're having? That's the best way to sum up Bar Citizen, I think. Good times, good times. Anyway, on the way, actually, on the way home from Bar Citizen last night, I, I was listening to <clears throat> I was listening to the the September subscribers town hall uh, that was that work the Austin developers were kind of they sat down and they answered a bunch of questions. So I just I just kind of want to touch base on on that on that video. I had a couple questions and some comments on some of the content they covered and some stuff I didn't even know they were putting in the game, which is pretty damn cool. First off, <laughs> how cool is Josh Coons? I swear to God, the guy, the guy definitely. I mean, they all don't get me wrong. They all come across like they give a shit but this the, the guy i don't know he the way he talks and stuff he definitely comes across like definitely comes across like the player input matters like he's he's got some i could feel the fire not and it's that's probably unfair to say because they all they all are working their asses off but he was discussing working on the cutlass he was i'm excited to see what he kind of comes up with the cutlass uh just the fact that they're kind of taking another pass at it to make sure that it feels uh as they put it more bala more luxurious says a lot i think it says a lot i think currently i th think curly josh said there was too much wood and he wanted to kind of keep the wood to a trim uh to the trimming of the cutlass in the inside and there's too much white so we'll see what they we'll see what they come up he was taking um uh bentley's i think the in insides of bentley cars is is inspiration so also and i didn't pick up on this in the conversation but do you guys know if it's if they're redoing the cutlass black red and blue or if it's just the cutlass or one of the cutlasses, or are they they all supposed to be, are they all supposed to be luxurious? They also talked about they also talked about metrics and and I absolutely understand the need for kind of standardizing the metrics in the game. I'm just curious. I'm kind of curious, and this is kind of just more of an abstract question. What are, what would be? I was trying to think of it. And I couldn't think of any. What would be a circumstance where they'd have to bite the bullet, so to speak, and they would have to kind of create all the different animations for something i'm trying to think like are they st are they really trying to standardize everything or are there some things that they gotta kind of suck it up and uh come up with many different animations for for something in particular that can't be standardized you know what i mean like like the way they sit like a chairs are always 0.5 centimeters i think they said or five centimeters i forgot but is there anything that they can't standardize or they won't be able to standardize i was trying to wrap my head around what an example that would be other than that the the other big takeaway I had was the two-player emotes, and I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but I, th I think there was an MMO a while ago, and I honestly can't even remember where they actually interact with each other. Uh, can you imagine two-player emotes? That would be kind of cool. The <laughs> first thing that comes to my mind is everyone's going to be taking advantage of those, like, really quickly. Like, there's going to be some dirty, dirty stuff going on. So they're definitely, they're definitely going to be abused, but... I don't know. Maybe they got maybe they got a plan for it. They were talking about they were talking about like you know like one does an emote and then the other kind of confirms the emote. So I'm wondering what kind of mechanism they're they're gonna come up with for that. But it'd be kind of it'd be it'd be kind of cool if they if they just kind of have like a, a time based thing where one person emotes and then if the other person emotes within like a three second time frame it'll it'll sync them up. Otherwise it's just ignored. Maybe it wouldn't interrupt like the UI. You wouldn't have to go into like a UI or anything like that. You just type something out. Other than that, they had they they seemed like they were having a, a good time. So I know, I know Tyler was trying to keep it on on track a lot, but and I actually enjoy and and I was reading the comments and I think a lot of the the commenters agree. They kind of like it when they get off the rails and they go and kind of tells these sto these stories. Now I think not only one it gives us kind of confidence that they're that the team is working well together, but two that's just generally interesting stuff that's the that's when you kind of get into the nitty-gritty when you kind of hear we hear the like little stories so just as a side note like i fully embrace embrace it if you guys i fully i'm okay with you if you guys go off off the rails and if you need to extend it to an hour and a half even though you probably don't have an hour and a half to spare uh, we'd be okay with that too or at least at least i'd be okay with that so well done guys i'm looking forward to around the verse i think that's coming out tomorrow I'm pumped to see what you guys are going to throw our way that time. And thank you to, and again, thank you to everyone at Bar Citizen. You guys were absolutely just fantastic. You guys, 
do your stuff. I was by far the least knowledgeable person there, but you guys made me feel you guys made me feel at home. And it, it and it truly does and it truly does feel like a community. So if anyone's on the fence, uh, thinking about going to one of the bar citizens, and it's I think it's worth it. I think it's worth getting around uh, people that kind of share your passions. And if you don't, if you're new, if you don't know anything about the game, I mean, that's okay too. I looked like an idiot for half the time. All these guys are listing off all their favorite ships, and I'm like, I have an Aurora, and it gets its ass kicked by pirates. And they laughed at me, but hey, I learned a lot too. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in my Around the Verse 3.9 videos. Peace! Also, on the way home with the video games on my mind, I was looking for a place to eat.